Good evening. This is the CBS Evening News. Dan Rather reporting. It's a prince, a seven pound, one and a half ounce boy, born late today to Prince Charles and the Princess of Wales, Lady Diana. The child becomes the most truly English heir to the British monarchy in more than 400 years. Tom Fenton reports from joyous London. The announcement was posted on the gates of Buckingham Palace that the Princess of Wales was safely delivered of a boy at 9.03 p.m. Her Royal Highness and her child are both doing well. The expectant crowd had been waiting all day for the happy news. The little prince will be second in line to the throne after his father, and perhaps one day king. Prince Charles and Lady Diana were married last July in a ceremony watched by millions around the world. There was immediate speculation they would not wait long to have a child. The princess was known to be very fond of children and gave them much of her attention in her public appearances. Her pregnancy was without major problems and she maintained a schedule of public engagements until last month. Last November, shortly after her pregnancy was announced, the prince and princess visited a maternity ward in Wales. Here, Prince Charles gave the first hint that he wished to be present at the birth of their child. Prince Charles was in France yesterday, attending a war memorial ceremony, and flew back to take the princess to the hospital as soon as he heard she was in the early stages of labor. A crowd immediately gathered outside St. Mary's Hospital, Paddington, and waited throughout the day, just as they had gathered when Prince Charles was born in 1948. It has just been announced from Buckingham Palace that Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth, Duchess of Edinburgh, was safely delivered of a prince at 9.14 p.m. and that Her Royal Highness and her son are both doing well. Queen Elizabeth, who will not see her grandchild until tomorrow, was smiling throughout the day as she went through her public schedule. The new prince will be her third grandchild. <laughs> Late tonight, Prince Charles finally left the hospital to meet the crowd outside. Long time. Does he look like you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Does he look like you, sir? Um, no, he's lucky enough not to. <laughs> This is one of those events that unites and delights the British people, a family event that is also a national event and a cause for national celebration. Tom Fenton, CBS News, London. Yeah.